Hi, it's Kenny from Hangar 51. Uh, I'm going to review my uh, my my version of a V-tail. Now it was originally supposed to be a tricopter. Well, it's everything actually. It's a T-copter, tricopter, V-tail. Depending, this configuration does it all. But um, my uh, I didn't have a Metal Gear servo and. I stripped the gears in it, so I had to, while I'm waiting for a Metal Gear servo to come in, I converted it to a V-tail because I don't need a servo for it. So, so we're going to do the, uh, the um, flight review of that today, and, uh, and, uh, and then shortly after there's going to be a build video, but the build video is going to be first a tricopter build and then a V-tail conversion. So keep watching for those. Uh, here's my review. If you like it, comment on Facebook or right here on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm going to review my, my version of my uh, V-tail multi-rotor today. And we're going to do a little, little flying and see if we can kind of demonstrate it. Just going to go over some quick features with it. Um, Okay, so first of all, um, and I did a video, a, a build video. I'm still editing that, so uh, you're going to see the flight video before the build video. But there's a build video coming, shows all the how I did everything. But basically, um, I've got everything on wires, um, on plugs, everything. The speed controls are on plugs, um, so that everything can be taken off and put on something else quickly. I didn't hardwire anything. Everything's just tie wrapped on and plugged in. And I've got three battery leads available so that I can mount the battery here, I can mount the battery here, 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 uh, or, and I'm going to add some Velcro out here so I can run dual batteries here. And that way I can plug the battery in here. I can plug the battery in here, uh, plug the battery in here, you know, it's very versatile. You know. The other thing is uh, all the booms are the same, so they're interchangeable. They're balsa wood booms, okay, to experiment, see how it's going to work out, and they're monocoated. Instead of painted, I've monocoated the, the booms. Um, so far, uh, it's worked great. Now, I've had no problems, I've crashed it a few times from props flying off for these pinch collars I'm not real impressed with um, and some pilot error but I haven't broken a boom yet the tie wraps that are holding the boom uh, in place they fold the reliefs here are for the speed controls and then the reliefs back here are for uh, FPV gear you know I can put a you know this is for the antenna to pass through for a uh, you know, return to home or whatever. So that's that's what these are relieved for. Gives me extra extra area to utilize for mountain stuff. So I've got this whole top deck is available for multiple batteries, and you know I can plug in um, with one of these if I want to put nav lights for night flying. All that uh, you know, I just everything's plug and play. And if I break a boom, I've got spare booms, and, I, and the one boom fits all. I can put it anywhere I want. What I did in the back here is uh, I took 45 degree angle iron I bought. It's aluminum from uh, you know Home Depot, and I unbent it to about 30 degrees. Just made two of them, tie wrapped them on, bolted the motor to it, rock solid, works beautiful. Uh, I actually might utilize something like this on the front because the front motors are just a little loose and that's partly because it's balsa and I can't cinch these tie wraps down as tight as you can with uh, hardwood so um, I'm still experimenting with that I mean this is working okay but I, I they still they move around a little bit it doesn't seem to affect the flight of it but um, you know it's it's an experiment but so far the balsa has been fine um, I haven't broken an arm yet using all nylon screw hardware no hard no steel hardware I wanted to want to keep the weight down um, flight weight here as you see it is uh, two point uh, two pounds six ounces uh, 
full, ready to fly, battery and everything. That's a 2200 um, three cell, 2200 three cell, and um, so so let's put it in the air. Let's see what it does. Okay, my bad. Forgot to turn the uh, stabilization on. So I did that on purpose. I wanted to show you how how it would crash. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Yeah. Balsa beam didn't break. Tie wrap broke just like it's supposed to. Arm folded back. No damn. Didn't even break the prop. So so that's uh, you know that's exactly how it's supposed to work, and it did perfectly. So let me uh, let me go put a tie wrap on it. We'll try that again. Okay guys, well, it flies really good. God, I love this thing. Holy crap, does this fly good. I can't imagine a tricopter flying better than this. It's so stable, so maneuverable. And I've got the, I've got the stabilization on. I can't even imagine what it's like with it off. I mean, you can, that's why, that's why you can do flips and rolls and all that stuff with it. And the only reason I'm not gonna try that is because I don't have any spare props. And I don't want to be broke down waiting for Hobby King to send me props. So I got some on order. When they get here, then we'll we'll start stunting it. But for now, we're just gonna fly it. all the trees I have on this property but that's what I have so I got to deal with it hopefully I'm not gonna stick it in a tree because I really don't feel like climbing a tree to get it out but it just flies so good I'm having a little trouble with the auto the auto level it won't uh, it won't hover I mean, hands off, it wants to go forward, and I've trimmed it 100% negative, 100% positive, and I just can't get it to stop coming forward, so I still got to play with that, but here's what it does. Uh, let me get a... Okay, that's hands off. You see how it's just flying forward like that? And it doesn't seem to be anything I can do to stop that. Well, I'll keep playing with it. It's not a big deal. You just treat it like an airplane. That's all. It flies like an airplane. It really does. It just flies just like an airplane.
really love this thing. God, is this fly good. Holy crap. I mean, it's so smooth. I've got my settings. I've got everything set. All my, my uh, gains are at 120. Um, and I did that on purpose because in uh, stabilization mode, it really prevent. It just makes the sticks a little, little snappier, which I like. But it really won't let you get past, you know the point of no return because of the stabilization so you know even though you can crank the stick over it really doesn't I mean this is that's full aileron that's all the farther it'll let you go with the stabilization on so you really can't get yourself in any trouble but it's it's a little you know it's sensitive but I, I like it sensitive so that's and the yaw is not uh, I guess the tricopter probably yaws better than this. Um, that's full yaw. Which is fine. I mean, you know, it's, it's more than enough. Um, but I'm imagining the uh, tricopter has a better yaw rate than that. Which I think Matt's alluded to. And, uh, But it does fly good. Wow, it flies good. And it's quiet too. Now this motor configuration came with 10, 10, 10 4, 5 props and I originally flew it with those and it felt heavy and you know, but that was the prop that they wanted with these motors. But when I put the 845 props on, oh my god, what a difference. That made it feel 50 pounds lighter. It just, uh, that made all the difference in the world. So now it really snaps the throttles real quick. And uh, very, uh, very maneuverable. So that's mine, guys. That's my uh, my version of a V-tail. Um, I'm so happy with this thing. I can't even get to tell you. Really awesome. Really awesome. Probably about out of battery. I don't know how much time I'm getting. Maybe, uh, maybe six, eight minutes. I'm guessing. I'm not pushing it real hard. I haven't done a lot of full throttle um, 